Hello everyone. Welcome to the course Agent Force for Everyone. In this episode, we are going to learn how to connect a WhatsApp to Agent Force. For that, I have listed down all the necessary steps which we need to follow today. In the previous episode, we have seen how to connect a Facebook Messenger to Agent Force, but now we are going to see how to connect a WhatsApp as well. So for that, we need to create a service agent. We need to assign some topics, instructions, actions, and activate the service agent. We need to assign some permissions to Einstein service agent user. Then we need to enable our omni-channel. We also need a routing configuration and a fallback queue. And we also need a omni-channel flow, which is routing the work to the agent force. So all those steps I have already performed and explained in my previous episode. So if you have not watched yet, you can follow this link and go to that episode. For now, I am going to start creating a messaging channel for WhatsApp, authenticate the WhatsApp account and also activate. If we are facing any issues today, that may be because of the violations. So we are going to resolve those violations as well. Then in the end, we are going to test our WhatsApp account, sending the messages from the WhatsApp account to agent force and monitoring those messages in the messaging session. So because I have already created a service agent, added a topics, instructions, etc., added permissions, uh, configurations, fallback queue and omni channel. So I'm not going to perform those steps again. Instead, I will go ahead and create a messaging channel for WhatsApp. So to create a messaging channel for WhatsApp, I will go to the setup. I will search for messaging settings and I'll create a new channel. So we have a couple of options in the previous episode we have seen for community how, how we deploy our agent to community with the help of messaging in app and web and also we create a connection between Facebook and agent force. Now in this, we are going to create a connection with WhatsApp. So next I confirm next and connect to WhatsApp. So in order to connect a WhatsApp account, we need to connect through Meta, which is a Facebook oriented thing. So we need to select, we need to basically need a credentials to connect a Facebook account. So I already set up a Facebook for Salesforce agent force. So I will continue with this and get started. And here I will choose a new portfolio. Let's say business name. Yeah, this is quite tricky. So business name is YouTube learning, which is also available. Email address I will choose, which I have created for agent force. Cool. And I don't have any profile page. I don't have any website and I can choose my country. Sorry. Next. I hope it should not give any error. Cool. So choose a WhatsApp business account. Let's say choose a WhatsApp. We don't have anything. So it will create a new WhatsApp business account and it will also create a new WhatsApp business profile. Next WhatsApp business account name. So let's say YouTube learning agent and category should be education next i hope this time we should not receive any error okay so we are at the stage where we need to provide a number or we can get a number from salesforce so there are two options get a free whatsapp number so salesforce will also generate a whatsapp number for us to use but the problem with that number is we cannot be use that number to start or receive calls or text. So that means 
the user the customer can use this number to send a message the agent force will still receive the message but agent force will not be able to send the message to reply the message back to the customer and no verification required to get this number so i won't choose this number because my use case is i need a number where a user can send a message to agent force and agent force receives the message respond to the message back to the customer so i will say add a new number now i will add the number So this is my number. I'm going to hit next. I will wait for the verification code to receive. So now it is going to review the Salesforce Service Cloud access request. Manage your WhatsApp account. One WhatsApp account selected. Manage and access conversation in WhatsApp. One WhatsApp account selected. So I have successfully added my number, added the verification code, and then I click continue. So it is going to connect your account. May take a couple of seconds. You are almost ready to chat with people on WhatsApp. Let's finish. So now I can see my WhatsApp account is successfully connected and I click next. So this is my WhatsApp account. The business account name should be YouTube learning. And this is the chat acknowledgement, which I can type something. Thanks for messaging us. An agent will be with you shortly. Thanks for messaging us. An agent will be with you shortly. And next. So this is again a very important part. Uh, we need to set up the routing later because uh, if you have seen the previous episode, we have created a omni-channel flow, which is root our work to the agent force. So we need to declare that omni-channel flow here. So for that, I'm not going to create a new queue. Instead, I'm going to set up my routing routing later. And then I'll skip all of those steps and done. So now you can see my WhatsApp account is ready, but it is still inactive. So I will go to my WhatsApp account. I need to set up my omni-channel flow. I need to give the name of my flow, which is root to work. And I need to also set the messaging queue and then hit save. Once save, I will also choose the consent type to double opt in. I have all, I have already explained what is consent type, what are the different options and what is opt in prompt, double opt in prompt in my previous episode. So I won't repeat those steps again. Instead, I will just uh, choose the message. So this is the first confirmation prompt. Thanks for connecting with us. So the customer needs to reply yes in order to confirm they are happy to receive the message. And then this is the second confirmation. The customer will need to reply again with the keyword start in order for the double confirmation. Then we are also we also need to set the opt-in keywords. So the first opt-in keyword is yes, but the second opt-in keyword we have set is start. So I will choose start and this is the opt-in confirmation and this is the opt-out confirmation. I will hit save and then I will activate my WhatsApp channel. <laughs> I'm finally able to activate my messaging channel. I was facing some issues uh, in the console, but then I logged out and then I clear all my cache and then I re-login and then I activated the channel. So which 
is activated now now let's see our next step so we have done our messaging channel activation we have resolved the violation as well now it's time to test the agent from the whatsapp and monitor our messages in the messaging session let's see so now what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to save this number uh, in my mobile and then I will mirror my mobile to the screen and then we can start using the WhatsApp. So I'm going to open the messaging sessions. And I will close everything else. Just the messaging session. I have a couple of messaging sessions. You can ignore everything. And if as soon as we are going to send a new message, we will see here a new record for a messaging session. So let me mirror my mobile. So as you can see, uh, I have successfully saved the number to my mobile and I can see the business account, uh, the WhatsApp business account has been successfully set up for this uh, number and let's start sending the message. So I will just simply say hello. And you can see uh, the confirmation which we have set at the double opt-in we got our first opt-in message thank thanks for connecting with us and we need to reply yes in order to continue the messages so I replied yes I got a second confirmation let's say start and we got the confirmation that you are now receiving the messages and this is the message coming from the agent for service agent that means the agent force has joined the conversation. Now we will ask what is the status of the case? This. And the agent force is replied that the status of the case is new. Let's look at the book management. What is the quantity of book secret? So the quantity of book is 100. Now let's look at the messaging session. So if you look at this record, this is the messaging record uh, for me. So if you look at this, this is the messaging record created for just now. Uh, and if I open this record, so you can see, uh, there are some couple of old messages which we can ignore. So you can see the customer sent hello. We got the first message and the customer sent yes start. So, and then the finally agent force joined the conversation and then we the customer asked a couple of questions and then the agent force replied. Uh, so this is how we can track the messages on the messaging session. I have intentionally built that agent force. Agent is very simple because the Fundamental is to show you how we can authenticate the WhatsApp, the Facebook and then the other platform with Agent Force. But we can definitely build our agent very complex based on our business use cases. And that's how uh, we can save a lot of time. The customers can directly use their WhatsApp and then get their answers very quickly. So if you have any issues, uh, reach out to me on LinkedIn. I will definitely make sure I will help you. Uh, as soon as I can and and I know you will definitely gonna face some issues of connecting with WhatsApp because this is something I also face a lot of issues with trusted URLs violations and authentication so uh, let me know in the comment or uh, message me on LinkedIn if you face any issue uh, so I will see you in the next episode uh, thanks for watching